Hello everyone, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm gonna work on this large heart and this small heart. And these molds are new to my store. You can get them at dryerdaysartstudio.com. And I'm just gonna use a couple different markers here that I'm trying out. As you can see, um, that Sharpie silver marker was not adhering to the silicone as I would have liked. Um, so now I'm gonna try this white, more opaque Sharpie. And as you can see, this is doing a little bit better, but we're still getting a little bit of separation. So I'm gonna play with a few different things here. I'm gonna try now the water-based Sharpie. And this does seem to be getting a little bit of a better foundation. I am gonna do probably about two coats in that. And then I'm also gonna use this different silver gilding paint and apply it with a brush. Here is I end up cleaning all this off later <laughs> on this smaller one, but we'll get more to that later. Uh, but this goes on really nice and smooth and really easy with a brush. And then there is kind of minimal cleanup doing it this way. I am going to go through like this and do all of the lines on both of the molds. Very um, time consuming, but I really like this part of the process. I find it therapeutic, um, except for the fact that I do wipe most of that silver off. And again, you'll see later. <laughs> so this is the pink fine biodegradable glitter. And I'm just sort of gonna move around the molds and randomly place the colors where I want. And I usually do four to seven triangles with each color and just sort of trying to evenly space them out. So what happened here was I had a lot of the pink left and I wanted to use it up and then I kind of decided I wanted to do different colors, different looks in each heart and that is why I end up uh, kind of removing the silver and the colors that I have going in the small heart. And this is beautiful Amethyst Aurora that I make a huge splotchy mess with. But again, we're gonna clean this one off so it doesn't really matter. Um, these molds are pretty shallow and um, nice and thin, but it can make it kind of hard um, when putting this down. So I do recommend that you use a stick or some other tool to really help you get it in the nooks and crannies. Uh, even just a toothpick would work. And I'm just really making a mess of this one. <laughs> oh boy. But the Amethyst Aurora is gorgeous. I love working with it. And again, we're just going to kind of evenly space them out on the molds here and uh, yeah you'll see in the next clip where I've scraped this one clean. All right and here we are <laughs> and I can tell I obviously I know the silver lines got a little screwed up and I decided just to kind of leave it. I wanted to see how it would progress so I just left it as is. Uh, sometimes artwork gets a little messy and I definitely try to go with the flow with my resin work. And here I'm using the Disco Ball Sparkler, which is square-shaped, small, silver holographic squares. They're so, so pretty. This is one of my favorite new glitters to the store. And this is Icicle Glitter. Almost all of the glitters that I'm using in both of these are relatively new to my store and I wanted to use them so that you guys could see them in action. This is a fine glitter and it's kind of like a dark, cool gray. It almost has hues of blue in it. It just reminded me of really cold, cool hues. So I named it Icicle. It's one of my favorites. It's such a nice color that goes with so many different other colors and pieces and it just works. And it's one that I definitely keep handy in my studio because I find myself reaching for it a lot. Now using some blue pearl pigment. 
hitting with some heat and just filling this out. That is the pixie dust now, and that is the blue purple. I'm kind of going back and forth here, filling these out. This is a new pigment to my store that I don't have yet. It's coming and it's gonna be called Mauve. And still using some of that blue pearl. And this is some of that Violet Chameleon, beautiful color. So more Amethyst Aurora for sparkle. A Little bit more of the Violet Chameleon and Pixie Dust and blue purple pigment paste. And just gonna hit with the heat gun Okay, so now I have let those cure and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the rest of the mold because we still have a little bit of space in there to fill out and I'm going to do a base. So with the small one on the right, I knew I wanted to do kind of a dark, deep blue. So I'm going to mix some of my the blue pigment with my dark steel, both pigment paste. And we're going to get just a really beautiful dark, deep blue. And over on this side, I'm just gonna use straight up light pink matte color cream mixed with resin. I am using a tabletop epoxy by Total Boat for these because these are gonna be functional art pieces. I actually have these sitting now on a little table by my door and I come in and I put my keys and I put my water bottle on top of these. They're really, really adorable little trays that I have right by my door when I come in and they're functional and people notice them and ask me about them and yeah, I just really love having these. How beautiful is this color we made combining the blue and the dark steel. I love that these pigment paste can be mixed together and give us beautiful colors. Now we have an awesome background. It really made that blue pearl pop out. Having the dark background behind that blue pearl really gave it some more dimension and depth. And then this was the light pink and I had hit it with some rubbing alcohol. That's why we're getting some beautiful cell action. These demolded beautifully, came right out. Look at how pretty. Oh my goodness, all the glitter is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, and it really made that pixie dust look more pink, having that pink background behind it. All right guys, I know this video was kind of quick. I really wanted to show you some of these new glitters, combining some of the glitters and colors together so you can see what they look like. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. It's free for you and it really helps me out. Head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get all of the products that you saw in this video. I will have everything linked in the video description. Thank you again, guys. Come on over to Instagram and find me at Dryer Days if you like. I post there quite a bit. And yeah, I hope again that you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you. And until next time, keep on pouring.